It is really interesting. Yeah, I did grow up not watching um, a lot of movies. And so we did watch the Truman Show on our honeymoon. And I looked at Jeremy and I was like, wow, that feels like my life in many ways. Not every detail. The spouse picking part was not right. But um, other than that, I felt like, man, that's so crazy how it's so similar. You guys are holding on first kiss until a wedding day, right? Yes, we are. Any plan for your first kiss? You know and what? We, we were saying, we're like, I guess we'll probably just talk about it. It's like, okay, you're gonna go to the left, I'm gonna go to the right. Growing up in the public eye, I, I know all of the benefits. There were so many positive sides that came from being in that place. Opportunities were given to me that I look back on and say, I don't think I would have had that opportunity if it wasn't for the show. So we traveled the world, we were all over the States, and it was so much fun to be able to have that opportunity. We love the crew members, they're like family. And yet at the same time, whenever we walk through the most difficult seasons of our life, and it was out there for the public to criticize or having very strong opinions about how we were to live, that's where you see it's a little more challenging. So for our girls, we talked about what we wanted to do with them. And initially we, sh we had Felicity on the show for a little bit, but then we really felt strongly about having our kids, giving them privacy and allowing them to choose if they want to be in the public eye or not. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what they choose one day. Um, I think in the world of social media, everyone's has an account to some extent. So you'll be out there a bit, but as, as for now, we're just protecting their privacy until they can choose what they want to do. Yeah, I think I will. I have shown them a couple clips and Felicity almost doesn't recognize me. It's really hilarious. And so she, the other day I was showing her a picture with my sisters and she was looking at it and she's like, uh, I said, mommy sends a picture. She's like, where are you? <laughs> Cause I didn't look like myself, I guess. Um, and it's really funny. My sisters, we look alike. So maybe yeah. that was it. I don't know. Um, it was really cute. So I've shown her a couple of the old shows and I don't think she quite gets it. She's kind of like, huh? Like what's happening? <laughs> it's really funny. I love, I love living in Los Angeles. It's been amazing. We have an awesome community around us, really good, solid friends that we love to hang out with. And so, yeah, I'm just so grateful. I think it's crazy how many, how many amazing schools there are here. And so we haven't decided yet what we're gonna do for Felicity. I don't think I want to homeschool her throughout. I think that is a fine option for many, but um, I think they have a lot of like hybrid options or um, some of our friends go to really good public schools in the area. So we just haven't decided what we're gonna do with our girls, but I'm just grateful that there are awesome school options here. Hey babe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, my love. How are you? <laughs> she was about to call you. Jeremy. <laughs> I was wondering. Really? Yes. <laughs> Jeremy has been so kind throughout this entire process of my disentangling journey. Uh, he's been so patient with me, really, because I know it must be so hard for him to see these wrestlings and there are long days where it's just emotionally taxing and hard and he has only been there to support me to um, help me like cheer me on and it even like you said those early days I think it's interesting I look back and say okay I was always concerned about being like so agreeable with him and not having my own opinion I wouldn't really think for myself I would just think what's the right answer or what does Jeremy, what do I think I should say to him right now? Like if he lost a game of darts, I would tell him, great job, you know, good job. And he'd say, I was terrible. Like you can tell me that, it's okay. And I thought I had to be this agreeable wife. Um, that way I would be safe. Like Jeremy just encouraged me to not be someone I'm not, but just to be myself and feel comfortable and share my own opinions and have opinions on life.